Howdy, this is Herb. I wanted to show the modifications that I've done to my uh, Jet 14 inch uh, wood cutting bandsaw. Uh, involved uh, changing out the motor and uh, replacing that with a treadmill motor and a controller and uh, adding a 10k pot uh, here on the front panel and uh, also I decided I'd go one step further and put a uh, tachometer on it so I know how fast the uh, the wheels turning and I'll show that uh, here project uh, all in all took about a day I added a box here on the front uh, to uh, uh, house the tachometer in and uh, inside is a proximity detector and a rare earth magnet. Uh, this saw runs very smooth and uh, speed's adjustable, cuts steel now and uh, I'm extremely happy with the project. So I'll show some uh, clips here of uh, various uh, portions of it. Uh, project for today is changing over my uh, jet 14 inch uh, bandsaw uh, from a uh, 110 uh, volt single phase uh, motor, uh, one horsepower motor. I'm changing it out for a uh, treadmill motor that is uh, two and a half horsepower and it's DC and I have the controller on it. Uh, Anyway, this is the motor that I'm uh, taking out and uh, replacing it. Okay, this is the motor and the motor controller down below that I changed it out with. I had to change the length of the belt because uh, this motor is uh, slightly smaller and uh, I ran out of an adjustment range so uh, uh, took a belt that's about an inch or so shorter. Okay, what I wanted to show here is the uh, little rare earth magnet. I put it uh, in a little bed of epoxy there on the wheel. Uh, I had previously painted the wheel, but this was a spot that I left bright, so my tachometer uh, my handheld tachometer would work. Okay, and uh, this uh, here is the proximity detector, and it uh, is mounted. Set the camera here on the in this box. And this box uh, basically all it has is this uh, digital tachometer that uh, I bought off of eBay for about 15 bucks and I have uh, have it powered by a wall wart and I'll plug that in here okay hope you can see it it's blue uh, the uh, of course we're out here in sunlight so it may not be uh, extremely visible but that's the uh, tachometer let's get it started here Okay, you see it's 495 uh, RPM. I'm going to slow it down. That's about uh, 200 RPM on a 14 inch wheel. So uh, you can figure your uh, surface feet per minute from that. And uh, I'm going to put a chart up here for the various speeds and the surface feet per minute. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Down below you can see the, uh, the standard stop and start uh, buttons. And this is the 10K pot that is connected to the motor controller. Controls the speed. Ok, 
Yeah, I don't sure that this uh, saw has ever run that smooth. And what I have in here is a uh, three-quarter inch tin tooth uh, bimetal blade. It's made by Irwin. I uh, bought it through Enco, and it's about the maximum this uh, saw can take. But uh, it uh, cuts through metal. Clean as a whistle. Very happy with it. I think I've shown the insides. It was not a real difficult project. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.